Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Keely and today I'm sharing a huge patio makeover for the summer of 2022. And the best part is I did it all by myself while my husband was away at work. We're gonna be painting the porch, putting up some shade, and building a DIY kitchen area around our grill. I've got a lot to do and a lot to show y'all, so let's get started. So here's the deal y'all, I'm gonna be honest, I've been lazy. Over the winter and spring I let the porch get out of hand, I didn't clean it very much, and to be honest, for the entire first trimester of my pregnancy, I didn't even look at the back porch. So now it's June and it's much overdue. Sometimes things happen and life just gets overwhelming or the days get away from you and that's totally normal, so don't feel guilty. Let this be the motivation you need to clean up a space that really needs it. We all end up there at times and that's okay. Starting off by clearing everything off the porch. I'll be throwing out a lot of stuff and putting it back where it belongs or just sitting it out in the yard while I clean up everything. As usual, my husband's away for work, so if I wanna get this done, there's no use waiting on help, so I'm doing it myself. I've gained a lot of confidence in the past year doing these DIYs by myself, so I'm feeling pretty good about it. I can't wait to turn this back patio into a nice place to hang out and clean it all up so when my family all comes home finally, we can spend time together out here. Pressure washing is the next big step. I love my pressure washer and I use it all the time and you're gonna see it a lot in this video. Don't worry, I'll link it down below because it's actually pretty budget friendly. I think my patio is long overdue to be painted again too. We've never painted it before, but the paint from the previous owners is dirty and chipping up in a lot of places. So after some diligent research, I decided I could definitely paint it myself. So I pressure washed it all first to make sure I got up all the dirt. And this was incredibly satisfying because as you can see, my patio is extremely dirty. If you're new here, my name is Keely. I'm 30 years old and my middle name is really rainbow. I make YouTube videos about home decor, holidays, DIYs, and motherhood, and I like to keep it real, make things look great on a budget, and I'm not afraid to show you all the messy side of things. I live in North Carolina, I have two daughters who are five and 10, and I'm currently pregnant with my third child. I'm married to my husband, Tim, who works in the oil field, which means he's hardly ever here, y'all. You'll probably never see him, but he does exist. I'm your new mom friend who will encourage you, give you life hacks to be the mom you wanna be, and I promise that I'm never going to judge you. Life is so crazy, so let's just support each other and be friends. I would love to have you subscribe. I put up videos every week here on YouTube, and I also post on TikTok and Instagram every day. So if you're new to my channel and you're wondering what video is next, now is my chance to convince you to stay and subscribe. I like to think of every one of you as my friend and it means so much to me when y'all become part of this community. I've got tons of fun content coming up soon to share. If you didn't catch it at the beginning, I'm pregnant. I announced a few weeks ago on Instagram, so I'll be sharing some pregnancy content coming up in addition to all of my projects. 
my next big project is redoing some bedrooms with the addition of a new baby we're going to have to be moving some rooms around so I can't wait to share and I know it sounds early but fall decor is right around the corner y'all and that makes me so happy I could really go for a day that's a crisp cool fall day where I'm wearing a nice sweatshirt right now Once I got everything clean, I also decided it would make sense to paint the bench. And I should do that before I start painting the floor, obviously. Since I was going to paint the floor, I didn't have to be careful when painting the bench. So I used two coats of white paint and my paint sprayer to make this bench my husband built three years ago look so much better. Then, after painting the bench, I used a paintbrush to cut in around the bench in the house. I was surprised that this actually didn't take very long to do. Definitely not as long as actually painting the floors, that's for sure. In an effort to not kill my back, I got one of those poles for the roller and I'm so glad I did. It took about three hours to put one good coat of paint on the entire porch, y'all. And this isn't even a big porch. I can't believe how much paint can transform a space though. It looks so good. Be sure to link the paint that I used down below. It's specifically made for concrete and patios and I used about a gallon and a half to do the entire area. So this video is kind of a part two to last year's patio makeover. If you haven't seen that one, I'm gonna make sure to link it down below for you guys because that's where I did my first initial transformation of the patio. I put up this shade and I also built all the flower boxes from scratch. I did that one all by myself too and everyone really loved it. So feel free to go check it out if you haven't seen it. It's a pretty good video. DIYs, I'm always learning something. Sometimes I try something out and it doesn't work well. Sometimes I realize I should have done something differently after I do it. And that's part of doing DIYs and learning how to do these things by myself. I'm by no means a professional and y'all know that I'm always honest. So the first lesson I learned in this project was while I was painting. So to save you guys the trouble that I had, here's what you need to do. You need to edge the grass around the patio before you paint. I didn't, and it was a pain in the butt for the areas where the grass was very close to the edge. I don't know why I didn't think of this, but now I know, and now you know too. <laughs>
give you guys a little update. I'm about to get started working again and I have no makeup on because who works outside in the heat while you have makeup on? That's just bad for your skin, girl. Okay, anyway, I finished painting yesterday and the paint is supposed to take like 24 hours to like dry and it's pretty dry. It was actually pretty dry like after just a couple hours. Dry enough for like the dog to walk out on it to go to the bathroom and us to walk on it if we needed to. Um, it still feels a little tacky when I'm like on it in bare feet. So it does take 72 hours for it to dry completely. There's a couple spots that I'm gonna touch up that like you can just see the like old paint through it. But while I wait for it to finish drying completely, um, I'm gonna start working on putting the um, flowers and stuff back into these containers. And then I measured this morning to work on the other side of the patio where I'm gonna be making like a little kitchen area gonna be a really simple way to kind of make what looks more like you know like a little counter space outside um, because we have a black stone out here and we love it but there's no counter and so it makes cooking with it really hard so that'll be the next part of the project uh, but I have to wait for this to finish like really drying before I start putting anything else on top of it so in the meantime I'm gonna work over here and get these garden boxes filled back up and this hung back up. So there's nothing wrong with a uh, patio cover that I used last year, so I'm gonna use that again. I'm just gonna hang it back up. I took it down over the winter, and so now I'm gonna hang it back up. It is still, it's hung up on this portion um, where we hooked it to the roof. A lot of people had questions about that last year, uh, about like how did we seal it to the roof. I don't know. My husband did that part. It's sealed to the roof. It's, it's not gonna leak. It's okay. Everybody's real concerned. This is a process because obviously these things take time to like dry and stuff. So everything is like a slow moving process. It's nothing is quick. It's not like HGTV. So all of the stuff that was on the patio is just out on the lawn right now. It's just gonna stay there and while I bit it, get it all finished. So just bear with me. But this is what it looks like inside right now. I did reattach these and put some braces on the side. This one was broken over the winter because I hit it with the lawnmower. Um, so it looks a little wonky now. It was meant to be budget friendly. It's not meant to be like a permanent fixture in case we decide to do something different one day. And it's built out of fence pickets. So I built that last year in last year's video. It's fared pretty well considering I ran it over with the lawnmower. But I'm going to be putting another couple bricks in here, sticks and then dirt to put some plants in here. Now this one fared okay. I did have to put two like pieces of wood on the side so it didn't fall apart. But like I said, this isn't meant to be like a permanent thing. This one's still filled from last year so it's gonna, I'm gonna need to like weed out some of the dead plants and put some new stuff in here. Looking sad, but it's a little crooked and that's just from the weather, I guess. Um, you know, it just was, it's been out here in the, in the weather and I did buy treated wood, but it's still like bowed a little bit. So, oh well, I'm not trying to redo this whole thing for this year. It will work. I didn't want to redo it again, so. So the patio sale is relatively easy to put up. It's from Amazon and it's really budget friendly. I'll be sure to link it down below too. It provides great shade for this area because it gets so hot out here, y'all. And it doesn't collect rain since it's a woven material. So the rain actually comes through it. It's a great option to create shade anywhere outside without having to build a permanent structure.
I got 32 bricks in here to make the counter. So we're going to now put those onto the golf cart and I'm gonna try not to die. I don't know how many I'm gonna be able to do at once. I got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 in one trip. So that's like a little bit less than half. Let's go take him to the back. For what it's worth, yes, I am pregnant. It's okay that I'm lifting these because I lift weights pretty often. Um, I was going to the gym up until I got pregnant four to five times a week. And then um, since I've been pregnant, I've still been lifting. So it's okay. Um, it's not anything heavier than I would lift at the gym. It's just outside which is kind of tiring so that's why I have this golf cart <laughs> but yes it's okay I'm allowed to lift these it's fine I have always loved the look of a built-in kitchen outside but they can be thousands of dollars to build I really wanted to find a way to create the look of an outdoor counter space without having to do actual brick masonry or spend a ton of money so after searching Pinterest, I came up with the idea to use cinder blocks and pavers to achieve my goal. So I went to Lowe's and bought 32 brand new cinder blocks for about 60 bucks and then four large pavers to be the countertops. It was definitely some hard work and a lot of moving things around, but ultimately it took me less than an hour and I love how it turned out. I think it's super functional and I actually think it looks pretty nice too cost me under 100 bucks to build and I could easily add on more to create more counter space. I didn't use anything to put them together but they're incredibly sturdy and don't move at all and I think that that's due to using one brand new cinder blocks that fit together nicely and two the top pavers are extremely heavy which holds everything right in place. If you decide to do this DIY, my biggest tip is to wear gloves. The bricks are easy to move, but concrete is hard on your hands. So save yourself the trouble and wear gloves. making this out of cinder blocks is that it's not permanent. I don't like to add any permanent structure outside because you never know if you might want to change it or what the next owners of your house might like. I also like for some of my DIYs to be renter friendly too. I don't intend to move for at least a year but when we do I think it's good to be able to take all this down if the new owners want to do something different. It's also nice because with cinder blocks you can add new sections or like change it up completely if you got a new grill or something. I mean sure, would I love to spend thousands of dollars on a custom outdoor kitchen? Absolutely. But would that help many of y'all out? No. Okay. I'm here to give ideas for how to do things on a budget with little to no skill so that all of my DIYs are easily doable even by a beginner.
Next up, I decided to clean the table and chairs. I sprayed a mixture of Dawn bleach and water onto the table and let it sit for a while before pressure washing it to make sure the table would look so much better. I just have to give a shout out to my dog Guinness for stealing this entire scene. He loves hoses and water, so when I was pressure washing, he was jumping up in the overspray, living his absolute best summer life, y'all. It was hilarious. good pressure washing as did the cushions for the bench. I even fixed up the surfboard table so it could be used again too. For those of y'all that don't know, this surfboard table belonged to my parents. It was an actual surfboard before I turned it into a table. It's one of the few things I have left from my childhood and I've always dreamed of making it into something usable so I hung on to it. Last year I added the legs but unfortunately the way I did it just wasn't that sturdy and so I redid them this year with some heavy duty bolts so it would be much more sturdy now. I also added the lights back up, which make everything look so nice at night. After finishing up most of the porch projects, I mowed, weed eated, and edged the whole backyard. It was so hot this day, y'all, but I powered it out and it looks so much nicer out there. This entire project took me over a week because of the heat, if I'm being honest. I've been much more sensitive to the heat while pregnant, so almost all of it had to be completed later in the afternoon so I didn't die in the 90 degree weather. If you're working outside this summer, pregnant or not, make sure that you stay hydrated. was add a little bit of decor. I didn't want to do too much because a lot of times the decor ends up staying out through all the weather and it can get ruined. So this year I just put up some throw pillows, a few plants, and this little DIY fire bowl. Not only is it cute, but it also helps keep bugs away too. I got all the supplies from Walmart and just assembled it and I love how it looks.
every time I do a DIY like this, people are always asking, how did you do that all on your own? And you know what? I don't have some fancy answer. I don't know a ton about tools or DIYs and it doesn't always look super professional. And as we all know, I learn a lot every time I do one of these. But I just have to say that if I can do it, so can you. Don't be afraid to just jump in there and try to make something or try to do something. It's a learning experience and no one is good at something the first time that they do it, I promise. Okay guys, that is it for today. I hope that you enjoyed this makeover video. I hope that you liked it and that it gave you some motivation and some good ideas for your outside space. If you did, make sure to subscribe and make sure to go follow me and check me out on Instagram and TikTok too. Have a wonderful day and if no one's told you today, you're doing a really great job. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.